Hi and welcome to another awesome lecture and in this lecture I'm going to show you how you can integrate your Vapor app with the database. Now the database that I'm going to use is a call SQLite database. Uh, if you have a Mac then SQLite should be automatically pre-installed onto your machine. All right. So the first thing you need to do in installing the database is to find out the package, is to download the package. So in your app, which is the to-do list app, check out this first file, which is called package.swift. Open that file and you'll see these contents. Currently, you're simply downloading one package, which is the Vapor Git repository. All right. So we need to attach another package, another repository, which will target the SQLite provider for the Vapor. Now, what is SQLite provider? Well, it provides SQL support for Vapor. So that's why it's called a provider. I'm going to add a comma and I'm going to add another package. I definitely need a URL of the package, but don't worry, I already have the URL of the package. And if you go to that URL, you will see that it's basically the source code for SQLite provider. Next, I'm going to provide the major version is one and minor version is also one. And that's all I'm going to do in this particular file. Make sure that there is a comma right after the first package. All right. The second thing I'm going to do is go into the config folder. Config folder has all these JSON files. It's, these are basically the configuration. I'm going to add a new file in it. Here we go. And inside the config folder, I'm going to add a different file. So let's go ahead and add a file over here. And this is just a uh, JSON, uh, JSON format. So the path is the key. And then the name of the SQLite file that you're going to create. So I'm just going to say S to do list uh, db.sqlite. All right. And of course, I'm not providing any paths, so it will be created. This particular database will be created in the root directory of my application, which we are going to see. The file name should not be file. It should be sqlite.json. So let's go ahead and do that. And that is pretty much it. That's all you need to do to get started with the, uh, with the SQLite provider and to integrating with SQLite using, uh, using Vapor, all right? So we still need to download these packages, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back uh, to the uh, terminal and let's go ahead and list the file. So I am inside the to-do list directory. So I'm inside my project directory. And from here, I'm just, first I'm gonna run Vapor clean, all right? And then I'm going to do Vapor Xcode. Now, as soon as I run Vapor Xcode, it is going to start downloading the new dependencies into my Vapor project. So what are those new dependencies? Well, right now, the new dependency are the ones that we added in the package file. So let's go to the package file. And here we go. So we added, uh, let me actually move this over here. We added the dependency on SQLite provider. So it's going to download SQLite provider and integrate SQLite provider into my Vapor app. Now this might take a while to download the dependency. And also since I ran Vapor clean, it's going to reset the whole project into the initial state. So if you had created any local groups, uh, any basically Xcode project groups, those all will be gone. All right. And here we go. So it has downloaded all the dependencies. It's going to tell me that, do you want to open the Xcode project? Uh, sure, why not? And here we go. It opened the Xcode project. All right. And all the dependencies at this point should have been downloaded. I'm going to go into my sources uh, folder and then drill down to my app folder where you can see my main file. And you can still see over here on the right, on the top, that indexing is still working. All right, it's still indexing the application. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and say import vapor SQL light. 
all right? Now, of course, it might actually complain and it might say what is SQLite because it is still indexing all the new files that have been added. But uh, let's go ahead and build it and see if it complains or not. So you can see over here, since we have run Vapor Clean, it has to start building from scratch. So you can see that it is uh, building all these 616 source files, it's compiling them again. So the first time you'll do this, it might take a little bit of time, but the next time you will do that, it should not take that much amount of time. So let's go ahead and see if it successfully builds or not. And it successfully built. The indexing is still taking or processing file. It might take a while. Let's go ahead and add our new Vapor SQLite provider to the Vapor engine, to the droplet. So we will say over here, try drop.add provider. And we can say Vapor SQL SQL Lite dot provider dot self. So we are registering with Vapor that we have just downloaded a different provider. Now in order to check that if we have successfully integrated SQLite with Vapor, I'm gonna just create a very small test uh, action or a route called version. And all we're gonna do is try to return the version number uh, from the SQLite. If it can return a version number, then that means that we have successfully integrated that. So I'm gonna say drop.database.driver.raw and you can see all these commands are actually coming because we have integrated with the database driver. And I'm gonna just send out the version, all right? And I can return it by saying JSON node and then I'm just gonna return this. All right, let's go ahead and build it again. And this time it will build a little bit more faster because it has already built it uh, previously. Let's go ahead and run this. And let me see if I can pull up the, here we go. Now let's go to the version, so version. And here we go. You can see that it actually sends back as an output the SQLite version number, which is 3.8.10.2, whatever the version is installed on your machine, it will display over there. But this is kind of our indication that we have successfully integrated SQLite with Vapor. And that is pretty awesome because having integrated SQLite, now the possibilities for us are endless to make our application much cooler and to persist the data provided by the application. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more awesome videos.